On the coasting trip we did, we built um, the two big transitions you can see on the video. Um, we, we wanted something really easy um, and simple because the main idea um, was to make something like we did on the first Flybex video we, we made with the pallets something a bit better and um, this one is we, we're going to leave it at the warehouse so it's a slightly bit different of the, the one we made um, from the one we made in, in the coasting trip. First thing I I did here and, and back then when, when I built the other one was uh, to draw on the floor um, how the ramp was going to be. You draw the radius of the ramp on the ground. To draw the transition is you, you find a um, um, thick piece of wood or a rope or something, you mark a cross on the floor and then from that point, nine feet away. Or eight feet away, or it, it can change. Like you, you can, uh, if you want a quicker transition, you can use um, eight feet. If you want a slower transition, you can use nine feet or, or whatever really is, is up to you what you like. But from, from one end to the other, nine feet, you draw with a pen, and then you will get nine foot transition. That, that's the way, the way to do it. You draw the radius on the wood with the offcuts. And I use two small pieces for, for the ends, as one piece of wood is not thick enough um, to, to hold the whole transition. You, you have to buy a um, massive piece of wood. You cut the ram, go through one or two times to make a clean cut. Put the two end pieces, uh, this is good. Screw everything together. Place the ribs in place, pieces at the end so you can make it a square and then you can continue to, to screw the rest of the wood. Take the edges off on the ends, trace its flash on the ground. I used two pieces of wood at the end, so it was a bit stronger. The tips can, can easily break, so this is something you should make. Yeah, for, for, the, for the legs, I, I just used um, other pieces of, of wood I, I had from, from leftovers. Um, all you pretty much have to do is, is something that holds the ramp in place. Um, the ramp is a bit heavy and probably the legs won't hold the, the weight of you doing an air in it and probably will move. So having a friend back there can be helpful. You may you may need uh, 
someone to be back there or something. You, you can really put anything up there. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good or amazing? Amazing. 